Okay, so welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is our first video looking at the Contour Rome. As I said, this is the first video in our series of videos where we're going to be reviewing this little helmet camera. So let's bust it out and have a quick look-see at what we have here. So first of all, with the Contour Rome, we have some nice packaging here. Um, it's a really cool little case that it comes in. And then when we flip it over, we've got some basic welcome stuff, a sticker, and the package mounts. Now, package mounts are really important because that's what you're going to use to stick it onto whatever you're going to be filming. So, here we have, this is a rotating curved mount, so it will fit to a curved surface. And I believe that this little thing in the center here does, there we go, so it does some rotation. And it has a little lock button. So you can flip it up that way, and then that's locked into that position. So that's that rotating mount lens cap. Cool. A flat mount, shaped like the contour camera. Cool. And the little leash, which will tie it onto the mount, I believe, somewhere on there. Anyway, now onto the important part, the actual camera itself. Well, let's have a look see at this one. So popping open the little case. I really like the packaging. It's um, I know it's such a small thing, but it's like a it's a cool little packaging. Anyway, here is the camera. Nice and small little helmet camera, um, 1080p HD. Some of the key points about the little contour: um, it is waterproof up to a meter by itself without any external packaging. There is also a case which will take it up to higher depths than I would ever go. Um, seeing as I'm going to be using it for motorbikes, so I'm not going to talk about that at all. So, this camera, also the other cool thing about it, is that it can rotate this front lens, so you can always get your shot lined up and nice and perfect. How do you know if it's nice and perfect and lined up? Well, this big button on the back here, which says status plus laser, if you press it, has a status plus a laser. So, the laser level will level out and show you exactly whether or not that picture is level. So that is a really cool and unique little feature to the contour cameras. So um, there we go. It gives you a few seconds to level it up. Now, the other thing about the contour camera is the mounts. So it has the side mounts. So those mounts that we looked at before, the flat mount or the rotating mount, slide into the side there um, on either side. So it can be mounted either way. And it also has the industry standard tripod mount there, which is really cool because that opens up a ton of different mounting choices. So you could use it on all sorts of stuff. Okay, so next thing. One of the other cool things about this is it's super simple operation. Now, there is no screen, there is no LCD, there is no menu system. Um, and it is one, one thing to do your recording. You slide this big button forwards and you're recording. And you can see there from the nice clear LED saying that it's recording and the audible, audible beep, there's recording. Slide that button back and you've finished recording. Couple of beeps, there you go. Couldn't be simpler. That is one of the cool things about it. It's super simple operation. Now, how do you access everything else? Well, in the back here we have this little flip. When it is white like that, you can see then that we have the door is locked flip it that way and the door is now open. We slide it straight up and it flips open. This is where we can access the memory card, the charger and two reset buttons. Now the memory card itself um, doesn't come supplied with the unit. You'll have to purchase one of these separately, a micro SD. Now micro SD, it's, you know, SD cards I find are better because they're more common and can switch across different cameras and stuff like that. Um, but the micro SD has its benefits. Um, they are relatively cheap. Just make sure that you get a genuine card because the um, eBay and places like that are littered with absolute rubbish memory cards. They're cheap. They're cheap for a reason. Reset button number one will format. Sorry, not for um, reset, but format button down the bottom. Format your memory card. Wipe everything on it. Don't do that unless you want to wipe everything on it. Button number two up here, reset button, is if the camera freezes, locks up, something goes wrong. Um, because you can't slide the battery out to reset it, there's a reset button. Next part, um, mini USB cable there. Uh, I'm pretty sure, actually I haven't checked that one yet, but I'm about 99% sure that it's a standard USB, mini USB. Um, that is used for charging it. You could also get yourself something, a charger, to charge it from the wall. 
So there we go. That is the basics, the little run around the contour. I can't think of too much else to say about it at this stage. Um, the next video will show you the actual performance and pit it against some other stuff. There we go.